Okay, sergeants, if you would begin your recordings. Backup is rolling. Cloud is good as well. Mr. Sergeant Sadowski, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Transportation. At this time, would all council members and staff please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you, and we are ready to begin. Good morning, and welcome to today's hearing of the City Council Transportation Committee. I'm Danny Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. Uh, as most of you know, New York icon taxi industry has been in turmoil over the last several years. Medallion values have plummeted, driver income have declined, bad actors took advantage and preyed on our owner and drivers, many of whom are immigrants with predatory lending practices that left them unable to make ends meet or realistically manage their debt. Foreclosure and bankruptcy became the norm for many days. We need to do more for taxi drivers, especially the 6,000 6, individual medallion owners and other sectors of drivers who need a lot of help, many of whom have lost everything because of the impact of COVID-19. We need to be thinking outside the box and explore solutions that will help all drivers. Today, the committee convened remotely to vote on the following three pieces of legislation pertaining to the yellow taxi industry in the city. Proposed intro number 1584-A introduced by council member Adams is a local law to amend administrative code or the city of New York in relation to requiring manual, annual, annual financial disclosure from each person who has any interest in a taxi cab license. Proposed intro 1608-A, which I have a sponsor is a local law to amend the administrative code of the city of New York in relation to requiring the taxi and limousine commission to evaluate the characters and integrity of taxi cab brokers agents and taxi cab license. And proposed intro 1610-A introduced by council member Torres is a local law to amend the administrative code of the city of New York in relation to the creation of an office of financial stability within the taxi and limousine commission. The bills we will be voting on today are des designated to ensure that the TLC is properly overseeing the taxi industry and make sure that bad actors are not able to enter the yellow taxi medallion market. Before I declare to call the roll call, let me, well, I will let uh, the council to recognize the colleagues who are here with us today. Thank you, Chief. Council members Cabrera, Deutsch, uh, Diaz, Holden, Ku, Levin, Minchaka, and Councilmember Rose. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Elio. Now I will now ask the committee clerk to conduct a roll call vote on the three bills and, rec and I recommend my colleagues to vote yes on these three important pieces of legislation. Uh, Chair, we have a statement from Councilmember Adams. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Councilmember Adams cannot be here, but and one of our teams is going to be reading her statement. The following is a statement from Councilmember Adams on introduction 1584. Good afternoon. I would like to start by thanking Chair Rodriguez for his willingness to deliver these comments on intro 1584 on my behalf. Over the past few years, we have all become aware of the struggle and overwhelming debt of taxi medallion owners. Taxi medallions have become a money pit for thousands of drivers. It is time that we mandate this reporting to get a handle on this unregulated sector that has allowed unscrupulous people to exploit hardworking drivers. Intro 1584 will help to root out bad actors and give way to the oversight that should have been in place all along. I ask my colleagues to support this valuable legislation. Sincerely, Council Member Adrian Adams. Chair. 
Thank you. Uh, now I would like uh, for the council to, to please call the vote. Good morning. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation. All three items are coupled. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Thank you. Cohen. Uh, permission to just briefly explain my vote? Permission granted. Uh, thank you, Chair. I really am pleased to uh, vote on uh, on these bills. Uh, I, I think that we all share a frustration that we have not been able to really uh, fully alleviate uh, the situation that the drivers, you know, now essential workers, people who work so hard uh, to help us get around this city uh, have been going through. Uh, and I think that these bills will give us uh, the, the, the essential data we need ultimately to maybe try to come up with more permanent uh, and uh, systemic uh, solutions to the challenges and problems they face. So I, I'm very pleased with that to vote aye on all. Thanks. Thanks. Deutsch. Aye. Ku. Aye. Levin. Aye. Menchaca. Aye. Reynoso. To explain my vote. Permission, Brown. Thank you, Chair. I just want to anchor the sentiments of uh, Council Member Andy Cohen. Um, we've been doing a lot of band aid work on an industry that needs uh, systemic change. And I do believe that this uh, legislation and the information we will be receiving from this legislation will help us do that. So I'm really excited. Um, to start getting down to, to the, the nitty gritty and the details that will finally get us to completely reforming the way TLC does work and helping these drivers who've done so much during this pandemic. So I vote I on all. Thank you. Miller. Aye. Thank you, sir. Reynoso. Oh, excuse me. I called him. <laughs> excuse me. I, I could vote twice if you want me to, clerk. Huh? I, I got you. My apologies. Rose. Aye. Thank you. What is the yeah. Aye. Holden. Aye. Thank you. Cuando entonces vayan a votar. No, ya votaron. No. Ya votó, ya voy. Okay, by a vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Uh, Billy, can we keep the yeah. bill open for one member that is trying to log on? Sure. Just hold on one second. Thank you. Billy, can you call on Council Member Levine? Absolutely. Council Member Levine. Uh, thank you. I vote aye on all. Vote is now at 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Thank you, Billy. And, and Bill, and, and I would like to invite everyone to please join us tomorrow in the transportation hearing that we have at 2 p.m. where we will have uh, the commissioner TLC coming in from this committee. And we will hear how TLC has been working during this pandemic supporting the drivers, what is going on with the driver resource center and some of the bills that we would like to take the input. I think it is important to pass this bill. It is important to get those data. By the end of the day, the driver, they don't need more data. The driver need a plan of action. And we know that uh, the situation is completely different after the, the, the coronavirus. And we also know that even the idea is one of the recommendations that we put together 
as part of the Medallion Task Force, who has calling the city to work with the different sectors to create a financial assistance to the medallion owners. I feel that even though we understand we are going through a tough time, our budget is similar to the one that we have in 2011, but I feel also that uh, this is one of the sectors that I hope that the guy that we have in DC that doesn't represent our city will be changed very soon so that we can get the financial support that we need to the city and also to be in a better position to financially support uh, the, this industry, especially the medallion, uh, the medallion owners, uh, particularly the 6,000 individual medallion owners. With that, 